What transformations must be applied to map f of x to g of x? Graph both functions. f of x, we have the cube root of x plus 2. g of x, we have the cube root of negative 2x plus 2. Now multiplying the input variable x by negative 2, that does two things. It is a y-axis reflection and it's also a horizontal shrink by one half. And those are the only changes to the function f of x to make g of x. So let's graph both of those and compare. So the cube root of x plus 2, and then we have the cube root of negative 2x plus 2. Okay, there's f of x. And here comes g of x. Okay, now the reflection here is pretty obvious. You can see that. It's reflected through the y-axis. Now look carefully here. Notice that for f of x, the x-intercept is at negative 2, so it's 2 away from the origin. And notice for g of x, that x-intercept is 1 away, so it's half as far, which means it's a horizontal shrink by 2. And that's probably the most telling way to really quantify this type of transformation. I mean, you can look at the table, but that is difficult to interpret because of the horizontal reflection and the horizontal shrink. It's it's just really hard to do. So here are our transformations. Y-axis reflection and horizontal shrink by one half.